This is a bust of Dickens taken when he was only 30 in 1842 on his first trip to America by the artist Henry Daxter. It's quite amazing that people would want to make a bust of Dickens when he was only 30, but this is testimony to the level of his fame when he visited America. Dickens was the first self-made global media star of the industrial era, and this came home to him when he was in the States because he had no privacy at all. He experienced all the problems of fame and celebrity that we associate with modern rock stars like Elvis, the Beatles, and those that have come after. And this is made really obvious by his attitude to people wanting literally a piece of him on his first trip to America. He was very proud of his hair, but in America he became very worried about people selling on his hair. This paranoia became remarkably obvious when he was asked for a lock of his hair by the ladies of Plymouth, Massachusetts, and he refused citing the fact, half-jokingly, that he didn't want to create a precedent in case he himself became bald. He wasn't completely paranoid in these worries because newspapers at the time, in an age before photography, would fixate about Dickens's hair and about his personal image because people weren't able to access photographs of him easily. So they'd go into detail, one complaining that his hair was slightly waxy and that it looked like soap blocks, and they were very disappointed about this. Dickens, in turn, was very disappointed with America on his first trip. He disliked what he saw of mass culture, the lack of privacy, the crassness, the vulgarity. As he famously wrote, this is not the republic of my imagination. If you'd like to find out more about how Dickens saw the world and how the world saw Dickens, come to the Global Dickens Exhibition at the Charles Dickens Museum in central London on until the 3rd of November 2019.